Ladies and gentlemen, we back. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let's talk about the Los Angeles Chargers, people. Because you may hear it in my voice. I'm excited. I'm excited. Man, that Charger defense is going to be something else, No, he ain't. Don't be letting him. That bro. Charger defense going to be something don't, don't, else, don't. baby. Don't 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 be letting him fool you. I when I told him the news of Tyrod gonna be the starting QB, his heart sunk. Of course, I didn't want Tyrod to be the starter. I, who knows Tyrod more than me? And then when Listen, I told people, him, let me explain to you something to y'all. I am a Virginia Tech Hokie fan. Okay, he was my quarterback for years there. I know what he is. He is a game manager. That is exactly the man what took his team to the playoff. He is a game been to a playoff manager. We ain't trying to win no 30 damn. Years. We ain't trying to get to no damn playoff. We trying to win a Super Bowl. Look, that Super Bowl gonna be wide open. Man, please, we need a quarterback. Now listen here, people. Man, please, you mean tell me without that? Now that be the thing. Without that defensive talent, only thing they need to do is stay healthy. Man, damn that. You crazy. Listen, man. man we trying please. to rain on the parade. No, Let's talk about the no acquisition parade. that we got. First of all, Charger fan. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to. We picked up. Um, Chris Harry got no Chris slot Chris Harry corner. got in the corner. So we already got uh, the boys on the back end bringing that heat. And then you add big man in the middle, Linville Joseph. Yeah, got Linville Joseph. Run. Gonna have him in the middle, and we're gonna have Bosa and Ingram on the side, putting their ears back, going after that passer. The Charger defense is prime. It ready to rock and roll this season. Now, they've been working on that old line. No, they did. The Chargers did. They got they traded one Russell person. Okun, brought in a new guy. They working on it. I didn't say they was finished. They working. Uh, not when you got that liability out there on the right side. Oh. Bulaga. Yeah. And see, we brought in Bulaga too. First round draft pick. Pro bowler, man. Why you hating on Bulaga? Cause he ain't going to finish the season. <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe that cold Alp that has something to do with that man keep getting injured. He's going back out there in the heat now in Los Angeles. And y'all couldn't keep nobody on that offensive line healthy. At least for the rest of the Green Bay Packer offensive line, they were healthy except for his old bad listen, knee ass. Listen, man. Listen. No. Hey, stop it. I need for Belaga to work out. You hoping? Yeah, I am hoping. I need for Belaga to work out. You, I don't need you raining on the parade. You and the whole L.A. Charles of fandom and paper people who just paid him three year, for three years, what, $30 million? Yeah, y'all, y'all hoping he work out. Y'all yeah, hoping, man, y'all keeping him out. away from any slippery object, and you don't want to see him slip and hurt his leg. Yeah, we need for Belaga to work out. But so the Chargers ain't got a lot of people. But I still think that um, I know people. The news came out today that the Chargers was going to go with Tyrod. I still believe that it's a terrible mistake, and let me tell you the reason why I believe it is. Chargers now moving into the stadium. Chargers couldn't fill up the stadium when it was 23,000. Now they moving into the stadium and it's 70,000. They need somebody who box office. Now, that box office name with the defense that they have, the offensive talent that they have, and now trying to rebuild this offensive line, man, they need to go get Cam Newton. They need to get Cam, and I understand that one of the reasons Cam haven't got much uh, attention right now is because the doctors won't clear him. So the team is looking for Cam to get cut, and then they can try to pick him up. But I said the thing that happened with Cam, though, you see Nick Foles, he's going to uh, the Bears. You see, I think with the Miami Dolphin, the Miami Dolphin got their eye on the kid out of uh, Alabama. They're going to take him. Yeah, so you, Him or, or Hubert. Yeah, Tannen Hill, he gets signed. So you start looking at Cam and say, and I, and and they was already saying that you know Jamie Winston ain't gonna be a starter next year. 
Now, and people was already saying that. They said Jameis going to have to take a backup job. But I can't believe I want Cam ain't taking no backup job. But he may have to if that if the Chargers stick with Tyrod and uh, the Dolphins go with them a quarterback and they saying they're going to play that quarterback the first year, Cam might have to be on that bench too. Because there ain't too many other openings for quarterback positions. Oh, you could go. Well, no, that would mean you had to send a second round pick over there to the New Orleans Saints, and nobody's willing to do that. For old Taysom Hill. Remember when people out here talking no, about how Taysom Hill is supposed to be a starting quarterback, and then that shit switched up real quick? No, they, no. Now, it ain't, it, I don't think he's going to change up. I think this this season coming up, this Drew Brees last season. And what you're going to see the Saints do is they're going to give that kid a contract at the end of next season. But this is going to be. Uh, but he said for a two year deal. Huh? He said a two year deal. Yeah, that's it's a one year deal with a year option. Uh, that that's how they do them deals. So that Drew Brees, they're gonna be Drew Brees last season, playing for the New Orleans Saints. Book it, book it, because they're gonna be in a situation where their kid that they have on the bench he getting older, the older guy already, and then Drew Brees. Arm ain't what it used to be. He don't have the arm screen that he had before. So this is going to be Drew Brees last year playing for the Saints. They're going in for one more run. And they're going to end in f- official a- failure like it has the last two, three seasons. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I, I see with them. But with the Chargers, though, man, I like the moves that they have made, uh, but I still think they need to get that box off of name. Big name quarterback to fill up them seats. We still filling up seats over there in Oakland and now Las Vegas, and we ain't got a big name quarterback. Yeah, see, y'all got a big name brand. Yeah, y'all got a big name brand. Oakland Raiders that 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 reign all over the world. Raiders got fans all over the world. In one of the most losingest franchises since like two. No, years. what? That's the Cleveland Browns. Then, but y'all still are one of the most losing franchises in the last 15, 16 years. Let's uh, be honest about that. No, no, because the Cleveland Browns take the reins of that. Cleveland Browns. I said one off. No. Y'all one off. In no. Cincinnati. Cincinnati done won way more than y'all have. Cincinnati <laughs> just ain't won no playoff game. But Cincinnati done won, won way more than the Raiders. Y'all haven't won since John Gruden was there. Nigga, it was 2016 when we, <laughs> we went to the playoffs. That was one season. Out of that other six, 15, 16 years. Yes, how many times you made the playoff? Matter of fact, not even how many times you made to the playoff. How many times have you won 10 games? In the last 15, 16 years, Oakland. Okay. See, I can't go that, that far, one but, year that you just mentioned. No, uh, yeah, man, yeah. It was one season we went eight and eight a couple times. Like, it been plenty of years that Cincinnati got to the playoff. Like, they got put out in the first round. But back to what I said, Cleveland ain't been a win team. They ain't had one. They had one ten win season went to the playoff. Yeah. I'm sticking on that one. Yeah, but the Chargers. Start defense. hating on T-Mobile. The Charlotte defense is going to be fantastic. People. T-Mobile going to take you out to the playoff this year. I ain't saying he's not, but I'm telling you he ain't going to win it for us. Actually, I hope he don't take you out to the playoff this year because I'm a lot ready. What the hell am I talking about? He ain't taking you out no goddamn work. I'm ready to go into the playoff this year. We're making, <laughs> we're making boy, big me, time let, moves. Boy, let me tell you something. We're making big let, time let moves on you, defense. Boy, boy, let me tell you something that's going to hurt your feelings. Big time let moves. Let me tell you something that's going to hurt your feelings. What? The Denver Broncos got a better chance of making it to the playoffs. Who believes? The Denver Broncos, man, lock is locked in. No, lock no, is these locked people in ain't out losing. There in Denver, man. No, these people ain't losing. They ain't like Chris Harris. No, no, no. Lock is locked in. I'm giving them a better shot than the Raiders. No, yeah, I'm not saying that Lock ain't a good quarterback. I think yeah. he was a good quarterback. I want Green yeah, Bay pick him up. Them, I'm giving them a better shot. And I and I, uh, and I, and I don't believe that. they gonna make the playoff, Mm-mm. but I'm just saying this because I want to piss you off just a tad. Y'all I gonna be last you. in the division. Nah. Y'all gonna be last in the division. Nah. nah. Who y'all gonna outdo? We all did y'all. Man, we had a man oh, with a broken up. arm. Man, shut up. Shut Our up. Quarterback had a broken arm. Shut up. No. And, and look, man. Look. No. Philip was the first person with Corona. <laughs> Philip was the first person with Corona. Nobody didn't know it. No, the man was sick all season. No, he had the coronavirus. We, we won more games than people expected that to. People didn't expect for the Raiders oh, yeah. to go out there and win yeah, seven yeah, games. Yeah, I did. No, 
Nigga, you do you know what I'm saying? I, Tell I, a lie I right was here on the on. Raiders this, this season. I told people the Raiders were pretty good. No, no you didn't. I did. I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not an Oaktown mm-hmm. uh, hater. And then I, you had to think about all the stuff that we had to go through. If yeah, I'm, y'all had that little retard out there. <laughs> we had so much problem out there. We had so brain. many injuries and then that little nut. So, like, yo, there's nobody to expect for the win Sam game this season. But didn't see, expect no, why they look good. Sit up here now and just act like seven games and playoff status. Now it's a step over where we been. You just what, said one we or ne- two games. No, hey, no, we we three games. Three games count. Three games <laughs> matter. In the grand scheme of things, we ain't win them like four, and then the other season I think we won like six. I wonder why the hell Devonte Freeman gonna end up. If he can stay healthy, somebody get in the fantastic running back. Can yeah. Run it out the backfield and catch it. But the thing is health. He going to Tampa Bay. I hope not. Jesus, don't let him go to Tampa Bay. That way he from down there in that yeah, Miami yeah, area. Yeah, he going to Tampa Bay. Tampa. Yeah, he down from down there. I hope he don't go to Tampa. That yeah. one place I hope he don't. Yeah, he going to Tampa Bay. But all right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. If you're a Charger fan, let me know what you think about our pickups, man. Do you think... That the Chargers should um, go out to Cam or just take one of these rookie quarterbacks and go with T-Mobile this season. And if we do go with T-Mobile, how far y'all think T-Mobile can get the Chargers this year?